Hello beautiful people of YouTube and welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a very different video because I'm excited. This is my video on how I become a teacher tag. So I'd like to say thank you to Megan of Tuku for Media School for starting this and there are a lot of videos and the playlist. Well, I don't know if my video is going to be part of those videos, but then she started this and a lot of teachers have joined her to do how I became a teacher. And then I'd like to say thank you to Kat of my so-called teacher life because I also saw that she did this and I got really excited about her video was from how I learned that Megan of Topo for Middle School did this. So, so I'm going to put the link to these channels in the description box below. So be very kind to check out their channels and see what they're doing. Then I'd like to make a request. Have you seen any Nigerian teacher YouTuber? I'm talking about a full-time teacher who is also a YouTuber. If you've seen one, would you please put the person's name or the link to the person's channel? in the comment section i really would like to hook up this. this channel is a very small channel like you already know it has about 274 subscribers so if you're new to this channel and you're seeing this video for the very first time please be kind to show some love by subscribing to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber i'm so excited that you're back to watch again so make sure you like and share comment, thank you share this video so let's get down to it so i have like 10 questions that i'm going to answer straight up so let's get to it so the first question is did you always wanted to be a teacher if not when did you decide to be a teacher i think like every other teacher too but i'm going to answer i'm going to give the same answer i honestly didn't want to become a teacher at the very beginning or the very first stage of my life but I knew that I was going to talk, facilitate, mentor, speak, guide, teach, train. I just knew I was going to do all those things, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be in the classroom. I was going to be sure. So I, my decision came after my teaching practice and I thought I wanted to do this. And besides from the course I studied, I realized that there weren't too many people who were teaching after studying that i studied computer mathematics actually so most people transition so i just thought it was cool to become a teacher so i hope that has answered that question it makes sense anyway so the second question is what was your major in college it's computer mathematics education and then i went back to school to study computer science education so I'd like to also state that the requirements in my country is obviously different from the requirements in the US because I'm not currently in the US now. I'm in Nigeria, West Africa. So you know that the requirements aren't going to be the same. They may be similar in some ways, but they may they, they are obviously different. Of course, they are obviously not exactly the same. So I may have to tweak some of the questions to suit the answers as it relates to my country. So the third question is, what requirements does your state have? So I'm going to say, for, my, for me, what requirements does your country have? I think it's the same requirement across Nigeria. So for my country, you should have a first degree and then a master's attached to it. But then the Nigerian certificate in education is still very valid in Nigeria. But then, so if you have your NC, it's expected that you should have upgraded to have a first degree that's a BSc Ed or a BSc. And then if you just have a BSc, it's required that you go through a, a form of training in education, and that's where some people go to get their postgraduate diploma in education. Number four. How did you decide which age group you wanted to teach and how did you decide on the subjects that you wanted to teach? Okay, my decision for the subjects came from what I studied. That's basically it. Both and um, it was suggested to me to teach a particular age group because of my qualification and because of the need of that school. And that was how it stuck basically. So the number five question is did you do any substitute teaching? None, basically. No. So the next question is, what was the process like to apply for the first teaching job 
we were high at four. Oh, how was it like? It was a bit intense because I didn't expect that teaching or interview for teaching was going to be that intense. But then I was required to go through one stage of writing an exam or an aptitude test and then I passed that and then I was asked to go for a second stage and then there was a practical stage to test my knowledge in ICT to see if I could fuse what I had learned in ICT into what they were doing and it was really intense because this particular school had everything IT so I was at first nervous but then the requirement basically was that you should be very IT savvy and should be able to use all their IT tools. I didn't learn to use all the IT tools because when I got hired, this girl had to learn everything. So now, currently head the IT department. You know what that means, right? Okay. <laughs> the next question: Were there any common interview questions you remember? I think I remember the one. Why? Do you want to teach? <laughs> I remember that question, and this lady just fired that at me, and then I began to rehearse in my head why I wanted to teach. <laughs> oh God! But that was it. The next question is, what was the first teaching position you were hired for? The first teaching position I was hired for was to teach ICT, computer science, computer studies whatever it is that you call that but that was what I was hired basically to touch so the next question is what did you feel prepared for on the very first day of your very first job <laughs> and what did you feel unprepared for I think I was very prepared to resume to start work that was what I was basically very prepared for but I wasn't too prepared for the other activities that came in like you're going to lead the assembly, you're going to be the teacher on duty during break points. <laughs> you're going to take the children out at some point of life. You're going to do this, you're going to do that, and then things just came hitting me in the face. Mm, 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 mm. I thought I was coming to just teach, so <laughs> why are you adding this other responsibilities? But then I realized that, oh, they were what I should naturally do as a teacher in school, of course. So the last uh, question is actually an advice for those who are intended to become teachers. So do I have any advice for people who are intended to become teachers? Whew, I think I have one advice. And that one advice is be sure. Yeah, be sure you want to do this. Especially in this part of the world, uh, Nigeria, a lot of people are not sure. It's not really in Nigeria. Why am I saying in Nigeria? Yeah, I've met a lot of people from other parts of the country who yeah from other parts of the world yeah who weren't too sure they wanted to become teachers but when they made their decisions to become teachers they were very very sure that's what i'm trying to bring up when you make your final decision to become a teacher be sure and be true to it and be confident be kind be nice be sure that you want to impart the destinies of this children. Be sure. Be sure. So once again, thank you for watching my video on how I became a teacher. If you've watched this far, my goodness, let me know in the comments section if you watched everything at this point. You are my number one super star. If you watched to this very end. A superstar thank you very much for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do not forget don't forget to give this video a like to subscribe to this channel the subscribe button is just there staring at you just convert it from red to gray and that's all red to gray yeah red to gray <laughs> and click on the notification bell by the side because it's another video dropping soon so until i come your way in another video be kind if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, tap on the notification bell, like it, comment and share. Thank you.